Here's the thing. I love guns. I love carrying guns for protection. And I seem to have too many everyday carry guns in my rotation, which I guess is a good problem to have, right? Now, if you align yourself with any one of those three things, well, welcome to the channel. I'm breaking down my top three everyday carry guns for the summer of 2024 and the foreseeable future of 2024. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. Here's my number one pick that's in my everyday carry rotation. And these are not in any particular order. It's just what I'm grabbing and what I'm talking about. The humble Glock 43X. And before anybody says anything, I made sure that these are clear, safe, and empty. So do not worry. There is no, there are no live guns here. Now the humble Glock 43X, which I feel like this has been like since day one, this guy has been with me. Literally just a basic Glock 43X. I believe it's the, the latest version or Gen 5. I still have iron sights and these are the stock uh, iron sights that come from Glock. I think like the front sight is just slightly bent to the, to the right and I still have the rear iron sights. Nothing has been enhanced. It's a stock Glock. And honestly, it's been such a good shooter. I go to the range, I think I probably have for sure well over 1,000 rounds through this 43X. And it's just been, it's been great. I like it a lot though, because of its very small compact size. You can carry this almost anywhere, store this anywhere, conceal this anywhere. And the holster that I've been rocking for the last three years is this guy right here. This is called the Profile by Tolster Holsters. I got it in this beautiful carbon fiber blood red. Now the main thing I love about this holster is this, that snap retention, love it. And this clip right here for people that might think this is not reliable, I've used this, I've carried this for three years on a belt, inside the waistband, 12 o'clock, three o'clock, six o'clock. It has worked, it's reliable. I have bent over, I've ran, I've jumped, all the things while carrying this setup. So if you're just getting into an everyday carry gun or need something that's reliable, to me, the Glock 43X has been exactly that. No complaints. I mean, I have a couple, like I want an optic on there, I want more rounds. There's some cons to it, but for the most part, for someone who wants to get into it, who wants to be safe and something and have something reliable, the Glock 43X would be my, would be top, top three. <laughs> All right, moving on to the second everyday carry that I carry in the rotation is this guy right here. This is the Sig Sauer X Macro. And I love this gun for so many reasons, but a couple being, I got an optic on there, finally. It has a two port comp on the slide, which greatly helps with mitigation of recoil. And surprisingly enough, that trigger is actually quite crisp and there's not a lot of mush and it actually breaks pretty great. You can mount a light on this Picatinny rail and probably one of the best features of the X Macro is this, the magazine, 17 rounds plus one in the chamber. So 18 total rounds and you get this guy right here. Now it's a little bit bigger than the Glock 43X and in my opinion, the X Macro, the handle is just a little too long which is not a big deal, but it makes up for it because it's so slim and so thin. To me, that's good enough. Like I'll take that all day. And of course the holster that I use for the X Macro is this guy by Tolster Holsters. Same thing, I got it in the just classic Kydex Black. And here we go, snap retention, mm, so good. It fits my optic rather well. And the optic I'm using on this guy is the Hollow Sun uh, 407K X2. Now, do I like this optic on here? Eh, I, I'm, it, it's been on here for the last year and a half, almost close to two years. The window is a little small. The red dot isn't as punchy or crisp as I would like it to be. Now on this X macro, I have probably over 2000 rounds through it just because this was my daily driver for about a year. And so I wanted to just like put a bunch of rounds through this, make sure it feels good. Basically almost no recoil. So yeah, SIG I think really nailed it 
and really hit this out of the park with the X macro, especially with 18 rounds total, bonkers. Just so good. The only thing that I do struggle sometimes is when I carry this guy for an everyday carry, I always think in the back of my mind, am I gonna blow my nuts off? I know SIG has corrected this, but it still looms in the back of my head sometimes. If I bend over a certain way, will my nuts get blown off? Good question. <laughs> All right, and finally, number three, this is gonna be a surprising one for most of you. The new Springfield Armory Hellcat Pro Comp. Now this guy, oh man, I feel like Springfield Armory came out with their own X macro. The things that I do not like about the X macro are almost fixed and things I want, but they're on the Hellcat Pro Comp. Let's start with this. Both the barrel and the slide are ported for a compensator. In my opinion, that's pretty genius. When I go to the range, when I practice with this gun, it's almost like there's no recoil. It's also very thin, it's small, it's compact, lightweight. Everything that I want in a gun is this right here. I also have this optic, which is a way better optic in my opinion, because even though it looks small, it's actually got quite a big or a large field of view when you look through this thing. This is called The Judge by Gideon Optics, and if you want to get it, go to gideonoptics.com and use code JQ10 for 10% off. Now, here's the only thing that I kind of I kind of gripe about, the magazine, 15 rounds plus one. So a total of 16 rounds, okay, versus the X Macro, 18. Okay, I'm losing two rounds, but that's okay. I'm willing to kind of lose those two rounds. The Hellcat Pro Comp also does come with an extended clip, but to me, I like a gun that just comes, you know, the, the pistol grip is small and doesn't like overextend. And I feel like the X Macro does that for me just a little bit. Now, this everyday carry is unique because I do carry this quite differently than most of my other everyday carries. This holster is provided by 945 Industries. And the thing about this holster is this, it's got Velcro in the back, which fits rather well with this modular fanny pack. And all you do is this, you stick it on here, you zip this up, you put it on, leave the quick access pull tab open and exposed. And just like that, I'm able to grab my Hellcat Pro with ease. Super quick, super simple. It deploys rather quick. And that's the setup I use for the Hellcat Pro Comp. Sometimes I'll carry this with a holster in the, uh, in the waistband, but for the most part, I carry this setup on this right here. I can also adjust the strap here. I can make sure I put, you know, a phone, wallet in the front, or also in the back. And this bag is very useful and handy if you wanna take a break from carrying inside the waistband. So, it's not for everybody, but I do like it for that reason. I've made quite a bit of videos on this bag. You can go check them out on the channel. Again, if you wanna get this bag, use code JQ10 for 10% off at 945industries.com. So there you go, my top three everyday carry guns for the summer and probably for the foreseeable future of 2024. As you can see, they're all relatively the same size. And to me, I just like having a smaller gun with as much ammunition in that gun as possible. Now I know the Glock 43X only carries 11 rounds, but because it's so small and compact, I do carry it. An honorable mention would be a Glock 19 Gen 5 that's optics ready, but that's on the wall and that's being tested for other things on the channel. These three guys, however, have been my everyday carry rotation. The only thing that I probably would change in this rotation would be this guy right here, the 43X, getting the optics ready version versus just the basic non-MOS and just running iron sights. I feel like running iron sights is kind of a thing in the past, I don't know, what do you guys think? If you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure to like, comment, and share the channel, and make sure to subscribe. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next Johnny Q video. Peace.